Hi guys, I'm Franny and welcome back. Today I have another tag for you that I thought it was about time I did because the end of the year is drawing closer and closer and so I thought I should do the end of the year book tag. Are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? There is one book that I started while I was in New York and I was absolutely loving it but then I came back and I had to think about my exams and I wasn't in the right mood and mind space to read it because I was missing New York too much. It brought up too many memories and I couldn't face them in that moment. But that book is The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsen Amid. I think I got this at the Strand and yeah, I just, I cannot wait to get back to it because I was really, really loving it and I was at the very beginning, so I need to finish this and I cannot wait. I'm going to finish it before the year ends. Do you have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year? Around this time of the year, I usually read either mystery books or paranormal books because that's just the kind of stuff that I love to read during the fall and I thought I would choose a book that comes kind of combines these two different genres. I haven't read anything by this author yet, so it would be my first approach to her. And I'm really excited because everyone seems to love this author and this series. And it is Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. I know that there's like some killings to... I know that there are killings in this book. I know that there are portals and... That's all I need to know. I cannot wait to start it and hopefully I'm gonna like it. Is there a new release that you're still waiting for? In particular, I'm waiting for three books to be released. I'm not sure when this video is going up, but they're all coming out on November 5th. The first one is The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This is the first book in a trilogy and it revolves around the Arthurian myth and it features a main protagonist that is a female and there might be some LGBT themes, I'm not sure but I'm really, really hoping for it. The second book is In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. I know that she wrote a short story collection. I haven't read that one yet, but this should be kind of an autofiction or a fictionalized biography or something like that. And I think it's going to be dark and heavy. And I'm really, really interested in checking it out. And the third book is Blood Hair by Amelie Zhao. And there was a lot of talk about this book. I cannot remember when it happened, but like it was everywhere and a lot of people were complaining and I was one of those people who was on the author's side because I think that I understood what she was going for and all the things that people said about her and about her book that criticized her. I don't think they were fair. But anyway, I really want to read this book. I really want to support this author. I've already pre-ordered it and I cannot wait to get to it. What are three books that you want to read before the year ends? One is definitely Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. And then I also absolutely want to read Dumpty by John Lithgow. This is basically, oh my, this is genius. This is basically a poetry book written by the actor John Lithgow, whom I adore, and it's about Trump. I love it! I'm gonna love that book so much. And then um, the third one, the third book that I wanted to read before the year ends is The Truth About Keeping Secrets by Savannah Brown. This is a YA mystery book, I think, and it should feature a lesbian love story, which I'm all here for, of course, so I cannot wait. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite of the year? I don't know. It might happen. I'm keeping an open mind, but it's a tough competition. It really is, because this year, so far, I've read some pretty amazing books. I haven't read a lot, but I've read a lot of books that I actually really enjoyed. I read The Book of Essie that I loved. I read Red, White and Royal Blue that I loved. And then I read An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green that just spoke to me on so many levels. So. I don't know. Is it possible? We'll 
see, a book might still shock me, but it's gonna be tough. Last but not least, have you already started making plans, reading plans for 2020? Yes? No? I hope to read more in 2020. I hope to be more present on a booktube in 2020. That's my goal. I just, I'm, I'm gonna keep an open mind. I told you about some kind of resolutions that I have in my I'm back <laughs> here on booktube video. I will leave it linked in the description down below, but I think you saw it. Anyway, um, I talked about some of my reading plans in that video. They're the same. We'll see what's gonna happen in 2020, but yeah, that's that's mostly what I'm gonna try and do. I want to focus more on publishers. I want to follow more authors that I already enjoyed in the past. I want to be more updated on the new releases. I want to read more audiobooks because I'm really, really falling in love so much with audiobooks. I want to read more LGBT-themed books. I just, I want to do everything. Do all of these reading plans count? I hope so. There it is, my end of the year book tag. I'm not gonna tag anybody because I think that those who wanted to do this tag have already done it like months ago, at least a couple of months ago. So I don't know who hasn't done it. I, I don't know at this point, but if you want to do it, please do so. And you can say that I tagged you because I'm gonna tag anybody who still hasn't done this because I want to. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you very soon in another one. Warm hugs!